You will also have a Rasi name which unfortunately some people use as their calling names. But what is the Rasi name? Your Pandit will tell you. Your Rasi name is a name that is given to you that matches your astrology and the configuration of the planets at your time of birth. So that if you were born yesterday morning, or let's say if a child was born yesterday morning, your Rasi name takes into consideration the year that you were born, the month that you were born, the day and date and the time of your birth. And so a name is given that is specific for the configuration or the alignment of the stars at that particular time of your birth. But why is that name so important? It has a quasi or a kind of genetic connotation to you. In that, that Rasi name has a devta that empowers you every time you think of that particular deity. It has a certain energy that creates an upsurge of power that could help you to develop successfully understanding which day of the week matches that particular configuration. There are colors that emit energies for you that would be very lucky for you. They say lucky color and lucky stone and lucky metal. Why is it lucky? Because depending on that configuration, that planetary configuration, there are metals that come from the earth and there are particular stones or gems that create certain energies that align with your bodily energies called the chakras. Now we can't discuss all of this tonight, but these are things that you could look into. The internet has so much of information. So not only when you pick up your phone, go on Twitter and Facebook. Sometimes when you pick up your phone, go on the internet and look up and see and find out what are your lucky colors and who is your Ishdevata. All of these things are available online for you in many different astrological sites that are readily accessible. And these are things that you should know. Do you know that there are certain days if you buy a car, the chances are if you buy the car on a nakshatra that is an immobile or unmoving nakshatra, it will constantly break down. No matter if it's a new vehicle. You're going down the road and bam, somebody hit you. You're going to pack it up for two months until the insurance company decides they'll fix it. And this is why you see, apart from insurance for your car and insurance for your house, you have to put assurance for your vehicle and your house. And you know where you get assurance? Not from the insurance company. By blessing your vehicle, calling your pundit and getting a time to do that.